Live from Cafe 9 in New Haven, Connecticut's historic 9th Square, it's Live Mike Live! Tonight's guest local artist, Craig Gilbert, flamenco experts, Melinda Marquez, comedian Jerry Morgan, and musical guest, The Hulls. As always, Mike's sidekick, Matthew Gall on the couch, I am DJ Anthony Yapuzzo, and right now, it's about that time, we go live, Mike, live! And now, a man who's Jewish enough to have his own talk show, but not quite Jewish enough to be good at it, please welcome, live, Mike! Hey, everybody, how you doing? Oh my God, oh my God, what a dream come true. No, literally, it, 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 this is a dream come true. This happened because I, I had a dream that I hosted a talk show at Cafe 9 and I woke up and told everybody about it. Um, but oh, I'm, I'm really psyched to be here. Thank you all for coming out. Um, <laughs> Cafe 9, the musician's living room. Yeah, you know, it's actually, yeah, it's actually a bit of a misnomer, though, because most of the musicians I know, well, their living room is still in their mom's house. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, come on. You, come on, I'm, I'm one of you, I'm one of you. I've been on this stage a lot of times in different capacities. I have to tell you, though, I have to tell you, it's never been this crowded for anything I've ever done here. But, you know, aside from being nervous, I'm, aside from being excited, I'm really nervous. Can you tell? I'm even starting to flub my jokes a little bit. No, I swear to God, I'm nervous. I've been waking up almost every night, almost every night at 3 a.m. with some type of panic dream having to do with this show. But, you know, what's the worst that could possibly happen? We could all get Ebola and die. All right, but what's the second worst thing that could possibly happen, Matt? You know, I have no idea. Well, the, I guess the worst thing, the worst case scenario is that we just end up with a total wreck. Well, in... If that's the worst that's going to happen, some local hipster artist is going to pick up the wreck, install it over an art space, and call it art. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Art hey. sucks. No, no, no. I like art. I just don't get the art that goes on in there sometimes. So. Well, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I bet you're thinking. I bet you're thinking. Hey, who is this guy? Why does he have his own talk show? Well, I'll tell you who I am. I'm Live Mike. <laughs> well, I was actually, I was born Michael Cooper. And I got my name from a Garbage Pail Kids sticker. This one, actually. No, it's true. Um, I got my nickname from a Garbage Pail Kids sticker. I'm a college dropout, wannabe rock star, college reattendee, current public school teacher, Joey Ramone impersonator, and current future fail talk show host. Probably sooner rather than later. Watch your mouth, Betty. Match your mouth. Don't make me come over to that booth. You know. I go, let me just tell you just quickly kind of about what our aim is for this show. This show is just going to be like a snapshot of what New Haven has to offer. Why New Haven truly is the greatest small city in America. What sets New Haven apart from other places? I want to highlight the people, the places, the events. I want this to kind of be like a, uh, I don't know, a live version of the New Haven Advocate. You guys still read the New Haven Advocate, don't you? No oh. way. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> yeah, but as I was saying before, as I was saying before, this show really is a dream come true. Um, I mean, it all happened. I, I, with, at risk of sounding repetitive, this all happened because I had a dream and the response was so overwhelming that I should do this. And uh, how about, I, well, I could tell them the story or do you guys want to see, we actually have footage about how this whole thing came together. You want to see how this... Want to see how it all started? I've always right. wanted to say this. Roll the clip. I just had the most insane dream. I had a dream that I had my own talk show at Cafe Nine. I'm gonna have a, a sidekick, and a couch, and a desk, and a band, well, maybe a DJ, and guests. I'm gonna book guests. Oh, wait till the world hears about my idea. I better take this to social media. 226 likes already? 
Paul from Cafe Nine? Yeah! Well, I better get on the phone and get some guests! Maddie, it's me, Live Mike. Listen, buddy, I've got my own talk show, and I need a sidekick. Talk show? Um, I'm kind of busy, but, uh, okay, I'll do it. Cool. I'm gonna need some music. Anthony Apuzo, it's me, Live Mike. Hey, Mike, what's up? Yeah, I'm DJing, it's packed in here. Listen, I've got my own talk show. I'm gonna need some music, buddy. Talk show? Yeah, I've got a big day, but yeah, I'll be there. Hey, the Halls, what's up? It's me, Live Mike. How's it going? Listen, I've got my own talk show, and I need a musical guest for the first episode. Are you guys in? Yeah, we'll do it. Sounds good. All right, cool. Thanks. I can't believe how well this is all coming together. There's just one thing. I need someone to film this. It's live Mike. I've got a talk show. I'm in. Lou, you free at 27? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we're good. Excellent! Ready, New Haven? Nothing's gonna stop me now. My keys. My keys. Well, I'm proud of I'm proud of that footage. But uh, you know, what really struck me about that footage was Maddie. Yeah. Well, Maddie, I seem to remember having a slightly longer conversation with you on the phone. No, that was that no, was, no, that no, was Maddie. The whole thing. Maddie, listen to me. I remember. I remember having the conversation with you. It was nope. slightly longer. Definitely uh, not. That Anth was definitely the only thing that happened. Anthony, roll no, the clip. No, 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 no. I want you to eat me first. I want you to eat me first. No, me. No, me. Don't worry, guys. There's room in my belly for the both of you. <laughs> Hello? A talk show? Um, I'm kind of busy, but... Uh, okay, I'll do it. I tell you, Maddie. You know what? I think I need a bath after that. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie, the look on your face just says it all. Well, you should have seen the look on the delivery guy's face. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Well, not, we won't even go there anymore.